Thanks very much, Adam. Uh, Carl, always good to talk to you. Let's start uh, right away with, uh, are you still seeking appraisal? Why, why is that? Well, we think it's undervalued, and um, we're, we're going to, uh, we plan to go for an appraisal. Mm-hmm. Uh, aren't you rolling the dice here? I mean, you, you already made money. Uh, what if a judge decides the company's actually worth less than what Michael Dell and Silver Lake are paying? Well, you know, usually that doesn't happen. Usually these appraisals work out pretty well. We've done a lot of work on it. And at this time, we think, uh, we think that um, it's worth more. We do have the right to go and give up the appraisal rights for 60 days after the merger goes through. So we have a fair amount of time to decide anyway. So it's almost, uh, from our point of view, a no-brainer to go and, and, say, and, 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 and decide later if we're going to do it. Mm-hmm. Give it a shot. How much do you think it's really ultimately worth? What would you like to see a judge decide? Uh, yeah, no, I, I haven't really thought that out, Trish. I mean, I'm, we're, we're in 10 deals right now, and... Uh, you know, I think from our point of view, while we lost, and I'm somewhat saddened by that, uh, we came out making a fair amount of money. We did the we did the work the board should have done. I mean, mm-hmm. the board the board to me acted in a horrendous way. They uh, they just caved in. I, I as I say, I congratulated uh, Michael because I think you know he did it out of self interest, which uh, makes some sense. But why the board just gave the company away, did not really even do a true auction, is beyond me. I mean, I think this Alex Mandel, he did a terrible job, and uh, we told him that, and I've said it publicly. I I mean, it took us us to raise it five, six hundred million dollars more, and we did that uh, without without even working too hard. Yeah, I know they said it was the last and best offer, but uh, the board board actually, it's amazing. I mean, you know, if you go to... uh, Buy a painting in Sotheby's at an auction. The the auctioneer doesn't tell you the painting's all scratched and here's 25 million. Don't bid. That's literally what this board did. And this is the trouble in America. I I, I will tell you this that uh, there is no corporate democracy. We as a country pride ourselves on democracy, and yet it's a dysfunctional corporate governance system in this country. And I'll tell you that if that if it was changed, and I hope with the Twitter. There may be a chance to raise enough people's awareness about this. If it would change, this country would be a lot more productive. There'd be a lot more jobs because uh, because uh, uh, executives would have to be accountable. CEOs would have to be accountable. You could replace them. There is none of that. This is sort of a vicious cycle that goes on. You know, it sounds tremendously corny, and I know it does. But uh, you know, I came from Queens, a, a, a tough neighborhood. My, we had very little money. My mother's a school teacher. And uh, I may, I, I've, done, I've done so well because it's a great country. A democracy is a great system when you have it. And while our political system lacks somewhat, it's nothing like this corporate system. And the reason I make so much money, or one of the major reasons, is because once you get into these companies and clean up the mess, there's so much more value. And look at this board. Look yeah. how horrendous. I mean, it's like Carl, a Carl, do you think that Southeastern will join you in seeking appraisal? Oh, I, I, I really, th- that's completely their business. It doesn't matter to me whether they join or not. I mean, you know, it, it, if you go for appraisal, you go for appraisal. It, it, it doesn't mean that more people join you that it's a plus or a minus. Mm-hmm. And uh, we haven't made up our final mind. Uh, we have not made up our final decision on appraisal, but we've done a lot of work on it, and we do think uh, that it's worth a lot more, but that, that could change. We have we have time to change our mind on that. Mm-hmm. So, so as you said, 60 days uh, after the deal closes, you've got time to, to make yeah, it you're sort of one fixated. way or the other. Why are you so fixated on the appraisal? <laughs> I'm curious. I mean, if Michael Dell and Silver Lake, could they do anything to sweeten enough the, the offer for you personally so that you'd say, you know what, I'm not going to – because they're rolling the dice too, right? I mean, if they wind up going to yeah, Delaware – Well, that's, that's true for anybody that goes for appraisal. But, you know, yeah. it's not, nothing to do with me. I mean, it, I have no more power here. I, you, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're sort of done now. I mean, uh, I think it's a fate to complete what's happening, but I think that uh, – Now, on paper, there. you've made money on this deal, uh, if, you know, in, in terms of a profit. Uh, any sense how much? Uh, you know, it's hard to say if you count all the dividends in. I mean, they gave a lot of extra dividends and what have you, so it's sort of a, a bit complex. And uh, mm-hmm. I think you can figure it out. I don't think I should be talking about it. But we did all right. We did all right. But that's not the issue here. 
I think the issue really is how you can, uh, I, I mean, is this a tantamount, I think what happened here is tantamount to a dictatorship. In fact, a dictatorship uh, uh, doesn't, doesn't call needy, you know, when they lose an election, maybe they'll have one more election. These guys just kept going with it. So, uh, Are you calling Michael Dell then a, a, a no, dictator? I think, I mean, I, I think to... Michael Dell was smart, and I, I congratulate him. I think the board is horrendous, and, and that's what I've said. Mm-hmm. And this guy, uh, uh, not, not Alex Mandel, did a terrible job, in my opinion. But, the, but Michael Dell, I congratulate. Uh, so the board you know, was like a dictatorship? Uh, the system, in this case, Look, they follow the laws, but the laws allow you to do what they did. I, I, you know, I, I'm not even arguing what the judge said. The laws in Delaware did it. I'm doing Twitter. You know, we, 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 we're going to, on Twitter, I give my investment insights. So by the way, you know, if the followers on Twitter follow me on Apple, they would have made a lot of money, and I hope they keep following Yeah, that's following right. Me. You've released a lot of news on Twitter, including uh, saying that you were not going to keep pursuing uh, Michael Dell. Um, in terms of trying to defeat him. You also made the Apple news on Twitter. Uh, you know, Carl, Apple is having a, a big day tomorrow, a big product launch. What are you hoping to see? I look, I, I think Apple is undervalued if you just look at the numbers. I think their products are great. I'm not a technology guy. Uh, uh, but I think their numbers, they're so cheap re- relative to their EBIT numbers that it's almost, when, when I, you know, recommended it on Twitter, it was said that we owned it. We owned it a bit cheaper than that, you know, at the time that the Twitter came out. But it's still up 50 points. And I just think that sometimes you get these uh, sort of no-brainers. But, uh, you know, Dell is not a no-brainer. I will say this, that, that Dell does have problems. But uh, t- Apple didn't. I mean, Netflix didn't. Now, I'm going to be doing this Twitter, giving my insights, because I want to build a following, because I think that one day, if you have enough people... You know, enough people, a lot more than we have now, is following. Yeah, critical mass. They're going to be, yeah, they're, they're, they're maybe, maybe, just maybe something could be done with this horrible bureaucracy <laughs> that exists that keeps us from having good corporate governance. And, you know, you I'm know, not saying the judge did anything wrong. These are the laws. The laws of these states just back these corporations because it's a cycle. And, and I think we yeah. shouldn't have this. And, and then you One get the, the money that... spent for these. For the, the, they spend shareholders' money. It's, it's like in the feudal system. You know, the, the, <laughs> the baron would have a castle and... He'd have the oh, peasants boy. give him money, and then the peasants, yeah. he'd use the money to get armies. That's, that's what happened. And, you know, now, I, I, I made, know a, I you, made a you, lot of money. I made a lot of money doing this. But, but I will tell you this, that if we don't change, we're going to become a second-rate country. I mean, that's one of the reasons that we're not competitive, and that's one of the reasons that things have to change. I hope to accomplish something along these lines. I mean, I maybe it sounds corny, but like I really do care. I know you like $150 billion worth of a, a buyback at, at Apple. How realistic do you think that is? I mean, have you talked to Tim Cook lately about that? What is he saying? Well, well, Trish, I mean, you, you read what I said on Twitter. You know, we're going to have a meeting. Uh, we're going to have a, a dinner. Mm-hmm. And uh, when was the last time you talked to him? When you tweeted? Trish, Trish you should read Twitter. <laughs> you, I, I guess you're a you follower. Are you kidding? I you follow told you. Me to be, you told right. me to follow you, and you told you would want to follow me. Why don't you read Twitter <laughs> instead of asking me now? No, no, I know that you're supposed to have dinner with him. Uh, when is it going to happen? I, I said it would happen. It's going to happen this month. Good. Okay. Um, sometime this month. A lot of people, um, let's, let's move on to another stock that I'd be curious to get your thoughts on. Uh, a lot of people have been getting into JCPenney in the last week now that uh, Mr. Ackman is out. Is it a company you'd look at? No. No, I, I, I think uh, that it's a company that's very hard to read which way it will go. And uh, uh, I, so I have no comment on that. What about Netflix? Well, still high I, on Netflix, look, right? We, we, yeah, we, we still own it. We haven't sold a share. I think Netflix is another one of those things that was a no brainer uh, uh, back when it was 58, you know, when we bought it. And I still think it's a good buy, but certainly it's not what it was when it was 58. But we do think that it has a great model and that, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, they, get, they start the year with $2.5 billion flowing into them. It's hard to beat that, and it's hard to compete with that. And that's the thing that I think a lot of analysts miss, that, you, again, it's a monetary thing. You get so much money coming in, and these people love it. I, and I think uh, Reed Hastings is doing a great job. I mean, people think I was going to fight him, but 
I think he's done a great job so far, and I think he. I hope he will continue to do so. Okay. Very, well, we very, will be uh, watching. We yeah. will be watching and uh, keeping an eye on your Twitter account, Carl. Okay. You wa- right, read it. Hey, re- Trish, I want you to read it. Okay. I do. I do. Okay. I do, Carl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Every day. All, All right. right. So Thanks long. so much. Bye. Carl Icahn.